Welcome to part two of Psych DCU tuning, Tuner Software. This is a project still in development. Since part one, we've been working on cleaning up a lot of the code in the back. We've worked on getting the tables working, the check engine lights working, so you have the ability to, uh, to shut them off if you eliminate things on your race car. We've also worked on adding different tab options and breaking up the, the features. So you got your scalers, you've got your functions, and you've got your surfaces. We also built in different access levels to the software. So we have for your basic tuner, for your do-it-yourselfer kind of guy, just wants the basic fuel tables, rev limiters, spark tables, you know, just, just your basic stuff. Get in there, make a few changes, and, and rock and roll. He wants a little bit more get up and go when he's merging on the freeway. Um, we've minimized and simplified what's available for that level as far as the features to change, things like that, just so they don't feel overwhelmed. And then you have your professional level, you know, that's your tuner, that's your shop, that, that's your professional, that's your calibration engineer kind of kind of uh, level of access. And uh, then, of course, you have your administration, which is which is what I use, so I can get in there and make changes, fix bugs, and things along those lines. Um, we've opened up two calibrations, and you can open up, you know, 10, 20, 30 calibrations, pretty much open as many as you want, and then you can jump between them up here in the uh, the Windows tab. Um, right now. On the basic level, we have the Mopar Performance, and then we have a little bit higher level here, which is the Professional. It's for your, your tuner shop. And uh, we opened up just a single cam Federal ca uh, Canada calibration as opposed to the Mopar Performance. And we'll go down here into Grouped, and you can see the list has grown quite a bit. And for the tuner, chances are they're not going to feel overwhelmed. We've added the group so you can just squish them all together into one. So the scalers, functions, surfaces are all in one. And then you can also break them out accordingly. Something else that we worked on under your scalers when you get in here. You can see we have a value of 65.57 right now. Let's highlight it and yeah, what the heck. Let's add values to the scaler. Let's say we want to increase it 100. Now all of a sudden it's 66.57. We can do the same thing, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, percentage, undo, redo kind of deal. Cancel out of that. Same thing when you get over to the tables. You can highlight an area, right click, take care of what you need to. We added the same feature to the toolbar. You've got your menu box, so you can add your 100 in there if you wanted, or you can go and you can you can add it. You can subtract, multiply, divide, do a percentage, and then we have a little shortcut for a calculator, which is pretty slick. The ability to save as now. Calfiles.syk at this point, probably come up with something a little bit different. It wasn't taken and it was easy. So that way we could save your calibration files to a location or to a directory. Um, and that's for your higher level access. Your basic guys will save it straight into the database, which we'll also take a clone of on the higher level as well and save it into the database just so that there's always a backup of it. Lots and lots of things going on. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. Flash cable hopefully will be here within the next week or two so we can start working on uh, getting some communication with the computers, pulling calibration, start trying to write calibrations, and uh, keep working the bugs out, keep adding uh, some more features that we have, have in mind and have planned. We won't spill the beans so we can make more videos. Anyways, have a wonderful evening and take care.